Hi everyone, hope everyone's alright. Tonight I have been out with some friends and um, just getting all spiritual as you do. It's actually 10 past 11. I'm home and I've got to go back to work on Tuesday to cut to cut people's hair. Yeah, so I'm pretty boring today. Um, I haven't, you know, done a blog. <sighs> I've got lots of um, nice food for the week, so hopefully I can eat well. Try and lose a bit more weight before I go to Los Angeles. Basically, what I think I'm going to do next year is book to go to Santa Monica. Santa Monica Boulevard. Because I really like the idea. It's definitely going on. I've also I've contacted local places for the acting. I've had some really good emails back, so I'll keep you updated. It's two weeks. Is it two weeks? Two or three weeks since I had the episode. It would have been tonight. So basically, I went to bed. That's when I started feeling sick. Blah blah blah. So now I feel I'm still really tired. But um, next week's going to be interesting. I just hope I keep vlogging. I keep to the original plan, to the goals, because I'm one of them people who starts things and doesn't finish. But I'm determined to change. Also, I've been looking at people's Snapchats. Everyone's out, like, they're all out, you know, having a good time with friends. And I just don't think this is the place for me to do that. I don't feel comfortable. But I'm just hoping if I go to America, I don't feel like that isn't comfortable. And I, I realise it's something that's in me. And that needs to change. So, hopefully, we can do it. Oosh. Hi guys, you alright? You alright there Sid? There's our sitters in the background. Oi, oi, oi. Today has been a good day. Ooh. I went in today just for uh, to shave my beard off, you might have noticed. Just to get um, ready. Oh, be tired as well. Yeah, so basically I need to start. Oh, oh. thought that was a spot to actually on the camera. <laughs> so I really need to start editing these things together really nothing like exciting has been going on which is basically why i want to change i want to you know i've been out with friends tonight but nothing just the same and i'm really grateful like for the friends i've got a lot of those have got their own lives and you know some of them have got families and my family live you know live in different parts of the, the world you know my brother lives in ireland my sister, she lives in South Shields, which is probably about eight miles away, but it's like a different planet. My dad, he lives in Spain. I'm here and I could be anywhere. This is my time, but I've still got to keep thinking. I've got an attitude for gratitude. I'm grateful for everything that I've got. Good evening. Okay, so progress today. Today is Monday and it's June the something. I'll go back to work tomorrow. As always, I will give 100% to my clients. But I'm so excited about the future. But I'm still going to do my blogs. Even though sometimes I don't feel like doing it, I've got to do it because, especially looking back on where I've come from. Where did I go? Where did I come from? Cut my jewel. Obviously, there's going to be a start. And hopefully, this will end somewhere in a year, a year and a half's time. And hopefully, I'll have some decent plans in place. I've just gotten the scales by the way and I've lost some weight which I am buzzing about. So that hospital stay really came in useful. Um, I hope you can see it's like bright outside. It's a nice summer night. I've been out with the dogs. Yeah so basically I've been um, audi not auditioning that's wrong. I've been what's the word? Not audi- what is it? Basically inquire to different websites about ac actors with disabilities. Who knew there was like a website for actors with disabilities? I mean, but I'm just hoping I don't get one of them calls off um, my brain tonight. Is like, Ooh. undateables. I mean, the undateables, how bad of a title is that? Um, for a start, no one is undateable. Fair play for people who go on that. We want to be in included in society. And I think something with the title undateables is really not the best for including but who am I? I might be wrong. Oh I've shaved the beard. Not too sure about the beard. I look like I've got a potato head. Dogs have been out twice today. How many Shell? Come here, come here. Shell. Come say hello. This is Sheldon. Hello. You alright? What's up? What's your beef? 
Shall we shall? What a dog. Pedigree, obviously. It's not a pedigree, really. He's a Griffin Stroke Scottish Terrier Cross. Today, sorry, it's quite a quick vlog, but I've got to get things ready for work tomorrow. I've got to get my, my outfit sorted. I've also got to get... I've got to go to bed a bit earlier, because obviously, um, early start and all that jazz. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, hope everyone's alright. Can you see okay with that? So I've had my first day back at work um, and it's 25 degrees here. So I only went for half the day. So tonight is the night I go to my Slimming World class, which I haven't been to for about a month because first of all I went on holiday and then I went into the hospital. So I'm hoping, God, my eyes look black. Look, that's one day of work and my eyes look black. It seems to me like every time I talk to you on the camera, I'm yawning. That isn't because I'm bored, it's just because I'm tired. Tomorrow we'll see Susan at work. Now Susie is an older lady who I work with. Totally different era to me, but a character. So we like characters. So that'll be the first day back. But yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. I'll see you later. Oh, when I come back from Slimmer's World, I'll come back on and I'll tell you how much I've lost. Up or down. Wishful thinking. I come to London and do some training and he said basically that my disability is like an asset rather than something that should be holding us back. So I'm quite excited about that really. Also, it's been a bit of a weird day because I wanted to talk a little bit about obviously my disability. I think I spoke a little bit in my earlier vlog. So there's the dog coming in. Hello, kids. Oh, it's actually my vlog. So basically I wanted to talk a little bit about my disability and how I've come to be where I am and what it means. So basically, if you can see, yeah. So basically I've got what's called a scoli kyphosis and that is a curvature of the spine. So it's a bit like, my neck is a bit like a swan. Nice. And it goes kind of round. Where other people, other people's spine is a bit more straighter. Story of my life. Um, um, so when I was born, I was born with this thing called transverse myelitis. And it was basically, I think it's a bit like MS, but not as well, you know, known. With MS, um, it attacks the... I think it's the brain um, stem or the spinal cord. I can't remember which way it goes around. Transverse myelitis is a is, is a bit like that. It attacks um, the spinal cord. So the scoliosis was secondary because of the transverse myelitis. I was quite young. I think I was only three months. So I wasn't born with this condition, and it causes paralysis in limbs. It can you know it can be a lot worse than it is for me. Um, I'm so lucky, I've been, you know, the doctor said I would never ever walk. Um, I managed to walk when I was, I think, four or five. Um, you know, determination because, you know, I, um, I, I want to do what I want to do and um, I, don't, I don't let people, I don't like to let people tell me that I can't. It's quite hard for us to talk about this actually because it's not something that I have been able to address since I was you know, growing up and things, I've always wanted to, to fit in and be normal, but you know, I don't look like other people. But then again, no one looks the same. I stand out a little bit more than so, but you know, I don't feel like I've missed out or haven't done what I wanted to do because I, I always have. And this is why I want to take this to Hollywood. I want to take this to LA. At times I think I might be absolutely insane and why am I going to the, the part of the world where in everyone else's eyes everyone's beautiful and you know I'm gonna rock up but you know disability isn't a, a taboo and disability isn't isn't you know we were born like everyone else with our disabilities with our differences we didn't ask for this or I didn't ask for to be born like this. Um, you get the cards you dealt and that's that and 
but that doesn't mean you can't play a good hand. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to try and play a good hand. I want all you people to come with me on the journey. Now I won't be releasing this until June 2018 and that is the countdown, the six month countdown and I should be gone by then. Uh, so in June it will be a year and then after that we will see how far we've come and um, hopefully a plan will be in place. Yeah and we're going to try and um, really do this. Ooh, ooh. Scary now that I'm saying it out loud. But yeah, help me come to Hollywood. I'm starting, oh that, that's the thing. Start the acting classes, get right back into it. But one thing I need to sort out is weight as well. I went to Slim and World last night, like I told you, and I lost two pound. Two fucking pound. I've been in hospital for a week. I was nailed by mouth for three days. Two fucking pound. I could have bastard shit that out. Anyway, two pounds off is better than two pound gain. So my Slim and World rep says. But you know, I am active, I'm eating better, so I'm just going to keep going, you know, not expect like a massive weight loss in a short time, because I think that's what I'm looking for, so I'm going to try, really try not to be disappointed with um, with small losses, I just want to keep going with the weight loss, I'm just, because I'm me and I project, I project into the future uh, constantly, which I shouldn't, I, I need to keep it in the day. I lost my thought right with them. So, e my god, see this is me. I'm going to be really good at learning lines. So yeah, I need to keep it in the day and I need to focus, but I keep thinking about the dark nights and it's freaking June. Do you know what I mean? I need to get a grip. Um, it's not going to be dark night until September. I need to just enjoy the light nights while they're here, because I really do. And I need to start looking forward but not projecting into the future. Um, there's a lot to do. I'll get there. And with that, I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.